Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to embroider a towel. This is a high quality towel, its weight is around 700 grams per square meter. You can use this exact same method for towels that are less thick, you just have to add more stabilizer on the bottom. The difficult part of embroidering a towel is making sure that all the fibers are knocked down so that it doesn't poke through your embroidery. Make sure to keep watching and you'll be an expert at it after this video. You need a non-woven tearaway stabilizer. If you're embroidering on a thinner towel, then I recommend using two of these instead of one. If you want to know exactly which one I use, make sure to check out the links in the description. This is one of the most important things you need. This is the water soluble stabilizer that you have to put on top. This will knock all the fibers down when you embroider, so this is very necessary to use. Or you have to have a knockdown stitch. Then you have to work on your digitizing and I just recommend using this one because it makes the stitches somewhat cleaner. I would recommend using the same color upper thread as the bobbin thread. In my opinion it makes your embroidery look a lot cleaner. The reason for this is that's a very small effort to make the back look a lot better. If this was a big order of mine then I would also get the same color stabilizer. The recipient of these towels mostly appreciate that the back also looks neat. And of course it goes without saying, but you also need an embroidery hoop and a pair of scissors to cut out the loose threads at the end. You don't necessarily need this, but if you want to know exactly where the middle is, then I would recommend using a needle or something else to mark it. Now I will show you how exactly I find the middle to embroider on. When you're embroidering on a high quality towel, most likely there is a loop, and that loop has to be on top, so that's not the side where you want to embroider on. So you want to make sure that the loop is facing you, but that you're folding it by the other side. And once you've done that, you make sure to fold the towel exactly as I'm doing here. If you think I'm doing a good job at explaining this to you, then make sure to like and subscribe so I can continue making these videos. Thank you. So once you're confident that you've exactly folded in the middle, you turn it over and make sure that the part you're embroidering is facing you. Now this is the part where you mark the center bottom of your design. So let's say you're embroidering three circles next to each other. What you're marking now is the bottom of the middle circle. Now that that's done, we're ready to hoop our towel. So what you're gonna do is you're really gonna loosen up your embroidery hoop. The reason for this is that the towel is quite a thick material and you're gonna add the stabilizer at the bottom as well. This should be a bit easier for your viewers because I have a camera in between me and the towel so I have to really stretch my arms out to get this done. As you can see I didn't make the hoop loose enough so that's what I fixed here and then I finally get it. Just make sure to take your time when hooping because it can be a bit difficult if you have a thick fabric like a towel. When you're sure that you hooped it not too tight and not too loose, make sure to tighten up your embroidery hoop again. Even though I like to keep my tutorials short, I want to show you guys that sometimes it takes a bit more time to hoop and it's normal. Even if you've done this a hundred times, you'll struggle a bit but it's just part of the job. So I check the bottom of the outer fabric to see that it's straight and if you're done then this is basically what it should look like and you're ready to put it in your machine. So this is a bit of useful advice that I've gotten that I really like. When you're embroidering, make sure to keep a cup next to you for all the loose threads that you'll end up having after you re-thread the upper thread. Now this is a quick design of 5 minutes with just one color so most likely I won't need to use this. But this saves me a lot of time with cleaning if I have a design with multiple colors. So if you remember earlier, I told you that the middle circle, the bottom, is what you'll be marking. And this is exactly where we're going to press the middle bottom. And that is where our needle is exactly, so I can press OK and start embroidering. If you use a needle to mark it, then please remember to take it off before you press start. It will mess up the needle of your machine, and when you take out the needle, put it away somewhere safe so you won't forget about it. Once this is done, all you have to do is put the top stabilizer on there, and you're ready to start embroidering. I would also like you guys to know about this Discord server. It's a very nice community where you can share your works, ask questions, get some inspiration. It's not mine by the way, but I just really like the community and figured it's always nice to have more people in there. So if you're looking for a place to talk to more people about your embroidery, the link is in the description. So if you're following my steps as you're watching the video, then this is what it should look like when you're almost finished. Once it's done, you can just take off the embroidery hoop from the machine. When you're digitizing this or you're letting someone else digitize it, I would recommend that you ask the space in between the stitches to be a maximum of 0.3 millimeters. The reason for this is that it will keep less space for the fabric to come out on top. 
Now I know it's very satisfying to just pop off the hoop, but I would recommend loosening it up first because they're fairly fragile and you don't want to break your hoop. So right here I'm just taking off the hoop, taking out the stabilizers before I throw it in the wash, just so the water soluble stabilizer fades away. If I said or did anything that's not entirely clear, just make sure to drop a comment because I'm very responsive. I also like to wash the embroidery even if I didn't use a water soluble stabilizer because the customer will always know what they will get and it will stay the same after they've washed it. So this is the final result and as you can see it's very subtle. If you want it to pop out more then definitely use a different color. I'm actually going to use this towel for myself and I like the subtle look and that's why I picked this color. If you want to see more tutorials of mine make sure to drop a comment and if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like and subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.